All right, anatomy students, here we go. We're taking a look now at dissection number 10, the superficial muscles of the medial thigh. All right, when we do this dissection, the only thing I really want you to be careful about is not damaging the muscles that are deeper than these two that we have on the surface. It's an extremely quick dissection. There are only two muscles we have to know, but the biggest problem is that we have a tendency to possibly mess up the muscles that are located underneath here. So let's not do that and just be really careful. All right, so as you see here, you're gonna remove some of the fascia and you're gonna get underneath the first muscle, which is the gracilis, okay? So maybe I'll get a good view here. Um, let's just quickly highlight the two muscle groups that we're looking at. There is a muscle that runs on this side called the gracilis. This is the gracilis and another muscle that's running up here, and that's called the sartorius. So sartorius up here and gracilis. Okay, those are our two muscle groups. So you can see I'm getting my probe underneath the gracilis right here, all the way through. Got to be extremely careful. Don't hook anything underneath it. It's very similar to when you were peeling up the... Um, pectoralis major and how the pectoralis minor kind of wanted to come up with it. Uh, not as difficult for sure. This is a very easy dissection, uh, dissection but you just got to be careful not to gouge anything that's down deeper. Our next dissection, we're going to be taking a look at what's underneath here. So again, using the finger is a great technique to make sure we don't hurt anything. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. It's going to be a nice short video. All right, you can kind of see as we're working our way, straightforward as can be. Gracilis. Okay, once I free it all up, be careful also when you peel the skin down in this area, you want to be careful to leave everything on the cat, you know, kind of like we did with the skin earlier when we were peeling it on the arms and stuff. Just make sure we don't tear anything off of the cat. Leave it on the cat and we'll deal with the extra fat and all that stuff later. Don't get in the business of removing blood vessels just yet. Just leave it on the cat. So I'm working my way back and forth on the gracilis. You can kind of see I've now got my fingers all the way through it. Okay, you can leave the uh, skin attached right there at the uh, anus of the cat, not a big deal. Again, it kind of acts like a good anchor point, so that way when you're trying to recover your cat, you at least have a place to anchor it at, okay? All right, so now that the gracilis is done, I'm now going to start on the sartorius. Okay, the sartorius is above. On a cat, it's a very wide muscle. On a human, this is an extremely thin muscle. It's like this little, well, not thin, I shouldn't say. It's like a, a band, like a little rope. It kind of cuts across your your quadriceps. So it's very wide and broad on a cat, but it's more narrow on a human. So this is the sartorius. Okay, the sartorius muscle. And I'm going to get my finger all the way through it. Okay, getting all the way through the sartorius muscle. Biggest concern, let's see if I get a good view here. Hopefully there'll be a chance we'll take a look where I don't want us to damage anything. So I'm going on the outside. You can remove a lot of this fascia on the outside. Just be, don't overdo it. There are there's stuff on the hip that we're going to look at later on the outside of the hip. So don't go over there and don't worry about it. Just get a nice, clean dissection of two muscles all the way through them. Okay. Very good. All right, so let's just take a quick look here. The area that I especially want you to be careful is right here, right where my probe is touching. Don't jab into there. Some seriously delicate muscles are all located here. Uh, be even more careful when we're doing the gracilis. The muscles that are under the gracilis are even more delicate than the muscles under the sartorius, okay? So two muscles, gracilis, sartorius, pretty self-explanatory. I think you guys can do this in class, so we'll see you then.